Welcome everybody. We're so happy to have you. This is the Application 101 webinar for Faith Lutheran Middle School and High School for the enrollment year 24-25, which feels weird because we're still in 2023. But we're so happy you're here. We have an agenda today. Our first agenda item, uh, we're going to tell you all about Faith Lutheran. Then we're going to answer all your questions about the application process and how to do that. We're going to give you all the important dates that you need to know that are also listed on our website. And then we're going to have a time for some Q&A. The Q&A portion um, will actually be happening kind of as we go the whole time. We have the Q&A option on Zoom for you to type in your questions and we'll be typing answers back to you if it just pertains to you. If it pertains to the whole group, then we'll throw the question out for the whole group and I'll answer it live. Okay, so I am Michelle Dwyer. I'm the Director of Admissions and Marketing here at Faith Lutheran. And I've been in this role since about mid-July this year. So I'm really excited about this opportunity. And here with us today is Jen Whitney. She is one of our stellar members of our team. I'll go ahead and skip ahead to this slide to introduce her. She is our admissions coordinator. Uh, Jen, do you want to talk a little bit about what you do for us? Hi, everyone. Um, I've been on the team since 2021 now. Um, I'm kind of going to be your main contact for all the application stuff. So I read all the paperwork, verify the report cards, all that kind of stuff. So if you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email or give us a call and happy to help out. It's so much fun for me. So I'm excited to meet you guys and learn all about your families. And the third member of our team is Miss Ashlyn May. She handles a lot of our phone calls. She does all of our tours. So if you ever tour with us, she'll be the one leading you around campus. She's also an alum, so she can answer lots of insider questions for us, which is great. She's not here with us tonight, but if you uh, give us a call or email her, she can answer your questions as well. Okay, let's get started. Our first section is all about faith. I wanna give you some facts. We have lots more facts on our website, of course, and our social media pages, but just to give you a quick brief rundown, our mission statement is the most important thing to us. It is everyone prepared, exclamation point, everyone saved, exclamation point. Those two exclamation points should tell you how important this is to us. One, we want your students to be prepared. We want them to enter middle school and high school with a sense of, man, this place is going to help me. Um, whether that's help them pursue a job, help them pursue some interests, help them just to get to know themselves. We really want every student to be prepared, especially for life after high school. There are a lot of options open to kids. And I think after you explore Faith Lutheran, you'll realize just how many options are open to your students that we never had the opportunity to do. So it's really exciting. And then the everyone saved. We are unapologetically Christian. We are rooted in the Lutheran LCMS doctrine. And what that means for you is that we're going to love your kids with the same love that God gives to us. We will, um, your students will take a theology class every year. They will hear how much Jesus loves them, that Jesus died on the cross for them. And that's a core of who we are. If you are not Christian or you're of a different faith or you're just unfamiliar, that's okay. Our theology department is very welcoming. We welcome all families, all, all faith walks. Um, and we, we want you to know who we are, but that we love you no matter what. Our school opened in 1979. Uh, we've been on this current campus since 1998 and we are ever expanding. We are um, we're on a 50 acre campus and we have some really exciting new changes coming up across the street. So we really encourage you to come visit campus, take a tour, uh, see what we have going on, the new buildings going up. Um, and we this year we have 2,147 total students and we are continuing to grow. That's our largest number that we've ever had. So very exciting. Um, we have 829 in the middle school right now and 1,318 in the high school. Now, those of you who that's quite the change from the schools that you're currently at, and you're like, oh no, my little baby child's gonna get lost. We are the faith family. We have not lost a child to date, knock on wood. 
Um, and we, we work really hard to make this big school feel small in the way that we profess community and the programs that we have and the way we try to get your kid involved with a club or a team or a group or music ensembles um, so that they can really feel connected and not just feel like a number. Our class size is about 21 to one. So speaking of feeling like a small school, um, your classes are not gonna be overcrowded, stuffing them in your teacher, your kids' teachers will know their name. Um, hopefully that's a good thing. And they will reach out to you with good things, with things to work on. They wanna partner with you as parents. And our crusader, Lou, is our mascot that you can see him pictured. Um, he's a fun guy. And what's really special about that, don't tell anybody I told you this, but it's a student run program. So our students train to be mascots. And I'm sorry if that ruined the magic for you, but our students train to be mascots and then other students lead them around. So which is a really cool leadership opportunity for kids who literally don't wanna be a vocal leader. They just wanna be a rah-rah leader like that. All right, some application, application FAQs. Our application opens on Monday, and we are really, really excited about that. Um, that means it'll be up on the website on Monday, and we'll show you a screenshot of where it's going to be. It'll be honestly really hard to miss. It's going to be a big fat button right in the middle that says apply now, and then you click on it. So you all are very smart. I know you're going to figure that out. Here's the process. So you click on that big button, apply now and you submit your application. The application form, there's nothing to attach to it. You don't need any documents yet. So you fill out name, address, phone number, um, all of that kind of information, and you submit your $50 non-refundable fee. And then after that, Jen processes your application and she assigns you what we call is a checklist. Your checklist is exactly what it sounds like. It will prompt you to upload all the required documents that we need that's when you need things like grades, birth certificate, et cetera. I'll show you a list of what we need for that process. And then you will request recommendations through Crusader Connect. You just give us the name and email address of the people that will write the recommendations. And then it's all seamless. You don't have to like shake them down for a letter. Um, and then you submit your child's grades. And then if your student could be a fit for Faith Lutheran based on those aspects, so the application and the recommendation, then we will reach out to you to schedule an interview. The interviews will be in January. And then hopefully by February, um, early March, we will be able to give out some decisions about placement. I also wanna tell you about a really exciting opportunity um, that's growing. This is our, um, it's not our first year, but it's our first year that it's grown really big and we're excited about the, po the possibilities. So for all of our high school families on tonight, um, we have something called Faith Lutheran Online. We call it our flow program. And the program types on the application will ask you, would you like to be diploma seeking? Meaning at the end of four years, your student graduates with a diploma. You can be fully on campus. That's no online classes. Or do you wanna be diploma seeking hybrid where your kid would take on campus and online classes? Um, they can be fully online students. So all their classes are at home. They don't ever come to campus for class. Um, or they can be credit seeking, which is um, a little bit separate. It's like one class at a time, kind of a la carte style. We call those single online courses. So there's more information on our website and we have a webinar on that with the director of flow coming up on November 28th um, to dive more into that. Or you can pop a question into the Q&A as well. What we've seen is really um, successful for students in our hybrid and fully online programs, especially, are students who are involved in something that means they have to be out of the building a lot. So a lot of athletes who have like half days of practice, they have like 30 hours of practice a week, so they just can't take a full schedule or they travel on certain days. Um, those kind of students, um, hybrid has been really great for them. Um, or students who just do really well on their own learning and they just kind of want to clip through things at their own pace. It's been a really great program for those students as well. Okay, how to apply. That's why you're all here. So again, I mentioned that big fat button that's going to say apply now. It is not up right now. So don't go to the website and try to click on it right now. It is not up yet. On Monday, um, you will go to our website, faithlutheranlv.org. 
and click on admissions. We have an arrow, you can see where it says admissions. It's up by the Coors Light sign, sorry about that. But this is a really cool picture because this is where we held graduation last year. This is Allegiant Stadium. What an amazing opportunity for our seniors to, to be um, part of the big show, right? It just, it was really, really cool atmosphere. Um, you'll also see that big fat button I talked about, apply now, right there in the center, and those will be up on Monday. If you signed up for our interest list over the summer, we will also email you the link on Monday when it opens. Um, it'll probably open, um, we'll probably have everything ready to go at 8 a.m. Um, the exact time, don't break Ticketmaster over this, guys. It is not like trying to get concert tickets. You don't have to get on at 8.01, okay? So just sometime Monday, next week-ish, get your application in, okay? We're kind of aiming for that, like that September 30th mark would be like a good time frame. Um, we, we aren't, you don't get any brownie points for like applying first, okay? Um, I just wanna, so don't interrupt your work day to do it. Just, you know, do it when you get home. Um, so if you signed up for an interest list or an event or um, something like that, or you signed, you registered for this webinar tonight, you created a Crusader Connect account for that. So you will use that same account when you log in to apply. So use the same email address, the same password, whatever you do, do not create a second account. Okay. If you try to log in and you're like, ah, I can't do it. I'll just make another account with a different email address. We have to clean that up on the back end. And it's like very confusing because it makes a double account for us. So if you have problems, just email us. Um, our phones will probably be ringing off the hook. You're welcome to call, but email is probably a way to get a quicker answer. But again, there's no, there's no rush. So um, you don't have to like storm the office to try to solve those problems on Monday morning. Okay. All right. Next, um, and Jen, do we have any questions yet that I need to um, answer or that, should we answer them at the end? I think we can get through these when we get further along. I think they'll be answered once we get through the presentation. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you. So again, if you've already registered for an event such as this webinar, um, you should see this screen when you log in. Um, and down at the bottom, it says apply a child. Um, so you can apply a sibling that way as well. This is our test student, uh, Crusader Lou. Anything else they need to know about this, Jen? I know you've looked at this view a lot. Sorry, we just got a question. Is there a deadline for the application? So there's no hard deadline for application um, this. Well, I should say this. The deadline is when we're giving out decisions like February, March, you want to have already been through the process. So we're hoping to get all of your applications and all of your paperwork in by the end of December. So that way we can schedule your interview for January. If you, if you hesitate and you're trying to do this process starting in January, then you're not getting an interview till February, March, then the spots might fill up and I can't guarantee you any spots. So if you have any inclination that you want to be at Faith Lutheran for next year, um, and I'll talk about this later too, we have a waiting pool. Um, and so we have a strong possibility for another one for this upcoming year, and I would hate for you to miss out. So um, please get your stuff in by December so we can get you um, through the interview process. And then when you get a decision in February or March, if for some reason like, oh, hey, well, we're moving. So you can turn down that decision. I wouldn't recommend, please come here. We would love to have you. But you're welcome to turn down the decision at that part. Um, I, I don't, it's not a good idea to, to wait too long to apply. Okay, anything else for the moment or should I go on? I would say go on and some of these questions will be answered later. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So I want to point this out. This is on the application and this is, um, we have a lot of questions about this on the back end. So if there are multiple households for your child, so for example, your child splits time between mom and dad's house, um, you want to put add another household. So it'll prompt you for like parent one and then address, parent two, address. And then um, if there's a multiple households, you'll click that blue. It's really tiny. So I wanted to point out to you, it says add another household. So click on that. And that means whoever you put in there will have access 
to your Child Crusader Connect, Connect account. So you'll be like dual account holders for that. Um, if you want to put a grandparent because you want them to have access to your account, that's the only time you would put a grandparent um, or if your student's living with a guardian and you live elsewhere and they need to have access to your student's grades, um, then you would put multiple households. Academic resource. We have a very robust academic resource program um, with, I think, six full-time staff. And we really value our all of our students, um, especially our academic resource students. These are students who um, have 504 or IEPs um, and need something for a learning difference. So on the application, it will ask you, has your student ever skipped a grade? Does your student um, need academic support? Do you have an IEP or have they had a 504 in the past? It does not disqualify you um, that your student has learning differences. I want to say that again. A learning difference does not disqualify you from admission to Faith Lutheran. We have lots of students with lots of different learning styles, lots of different learning differences. We would really appreciate your honesty on the application for that process so that we can set your student up for success. Um, we will prompt you to add that paperwork um, on your checklist so that we can assess what the needs are. We can speak with the director of our academic resource center to connect with you about the interview process so that we can make sure to get your child the, the services that they need. Um, so that's why we ask about that. And um, you won't be prompted to upload any of those documents until you get a checklist after Gem processes your application. Um, and then our, for our resource students, we will conduct an in-person interview with somebody from our resource center. So that way um, they're experts in the field and they can um, get an accurate read of what your student and what you need as a parent. Okay, so please type your questions in about that. I know that might be a little bit um, new information. So let us know. And that's for grades six through 12. So we have academic resource all the way up. Okay, timing wise, two to three business days after you submit your application, you'll receive an official note or email saying that you've been assigned a checklist. Um, so you'll log into your Crusader Connect account and you'll upload your documents. And then after you upload each document, just give us three to four weeks to process all those documents because everybody's uploading a ton of different things. So if you don't get an answer like, hey, thanks for the document, it's because we haven't processed it yet. So we will let you know if something's missing um, after you know some weeks go by. We'll say, hey, you, did you know you, we don't have this yet? Um, and for the transcripts and report card, we know that um, we actually don't want this current year's report card until December when you have this first semester worth of grades. So that's why that December date is kind of our, our applying and put all your stuff in by December because we know you won't have grades until then. Okay. Anything else with that, Jen? Um, my only note would be I'd be happy to accept a first quarter or first trimester report card. I know a lot of you are very eager to get things in, but I also know some schools don't put grades on them. So what I'm looking for is, you know, we want to have a complete package for the committee to review. So when you're saying that in, just make sure you have, you know, in progress grades for all the classes for your students to make sure they look good for the committee. Perfect. Thank you. Here's the full list of required documents. We'll ask for a birth certificate. This cannot be a passport. It has to be a birth certificate. Um, we've also had like birth cards sometimes or like something different, but we, we need an official birth certificate. Um, a progress report from this current year, transcript or report card from last year and the year before, we like to see two and a half years of grades. Um, recent standardized testing scores, if that was in the spring of last grade, that's fine. If it's in the fall of this grade, go ahead and wait for those fall um, testing scores to come out. Um, the administrative recommendation and the English teacher recommendation are required. And you can, um, you can pick your favorite administrator from your school that works with your student directly. So um, counselor, principal, vice principal, dean, uh, and then English teacher should be your child's current English teacher. If they have two, like they have a literature and a language arts teacher, just pick whichever, pick your favorite. Um, and then optional as a character reference, this would be a coach or somebody who works with your kid at like church or youth group or um, just a family friend that really knows your kid really well. And um, 
it's optional, but we really recommend it because it's really fun because they love your kid. So it's like, ah, oh, I love little Johnny. Susie is the best, you know, so we like to read those. It's fun. And then additional documents might be requested just depending on what your application says. Uh, so just you'll get an email about that. And if you have any questions, you can email us back and figure out um, why, why we're asking you for that. Now, if you are an international family, so um, what that means is that you your student has not been in school in an American school for um, for three years consecutively. So, if they've gone to school in Australia, you lived you lived abroad in Australia or um, Hong Kong or somewhere, and it wasn't a military American based school, then um, your student might be considered an international student. We have a director of our international program, Alex Plans, who um, we will get you in contact with. Um, and so that would have slightly different requirements that we would request. And then academic support, like I mentioned, um, we'll ask for that 504 IEP uh, information so that we have it and can look through um, what the needs will be. I see somebody ask um, if we can use more than one character reference. Uh, yes, we can. Jen, can we send more than one link or would it just be like an uploaded letter? You saved me from typing a lot. So um, there is only one link you can send or one form rather um, per recommendation through our checklist. And we'll get to that slide soon, kind of how that portal works. But if you do have someone else, you just have like another coach you really want to have send in a letter, you can email that to the admissions email address and we can PDF that and save that as an additional recommendation on your child's file. Great, thank you. And we've also had parents who wanna write recommendations for their kids. Um, of course, you'll recommend your kid for a school. I love that. You're so enthusiastic, that's awesome. You can just put whatever you wanna say on your application. There's a place to type a paragraph and that's kind of where you as a parent get to put all the wonderful things about your kid. You do not need to write an essay, that's okay. Um, but a few great things about your kid would, would be great, okay? Um, okay, documents. So, um, so that we don't have to kick documents back to you, please make sure that they are scanned or when you take a picture on your cell phone, you like tap in the middle to like focus it and like use the grid lines so that it's straight and then send it, um, upload it as a PDF or a JPEG. Um, and if they're like crinkled or smudged or smeared and you're like, I don't know if it's, I don't know if that's okay, retake it because it saves us like a back and forth of like, we can't read it. And you're like, ugh, I know. Um, and they should include, all documents have to include your student's name and kind of like a, what is this document? So try to get that top heading. Um, if you're trying to, if you're getting one on like from the, from the internet, like a grade report, make sure you get like the printed, the printable view that has like the school name, your student's name, and the year um, that the transcript's for, because we're collecting three years of transcripts. So we need to know what year um, it's from. Same thing with testing scores, make sure they have the student's name, the test type, the test date, and the scores. And then you'll receive an email back if there's an issue with a document. Again, that'll be like a three to four week process. Um, so if you have questions, wait a, wait a month, set a timer on your phone to email us in a month, and then we'll get back to you about that. Okay, recommendations. I wanted to show you this uh, screen so you can see what it's gonna look like. So for the administrative, recommendation, for example, you would um, put the name, the first first and last name of the person that we're sending it to, then you put their email address, make sure the email address is correct. We have that issue quite a bit that they never got it because the email address was incorrect. Um, and then it will send straight to them. And then it comes straight back to us. And you don't get to see it. It's confidential. Um, so please don't call us and ask us for it because it puts us in a really awkward position. Uh, so that's why I said pick your favorite administrator. Um, and usually they're all glowing reviews because your kids are great. Okay, the interview. This is a very exciting piece. We love doing the interviews. Um, it's worth all the time and effort. Um, they will begin in January, 2024. They are going to be, the majority of them will be over Zoom. Um, the only in-person interviews would be for Academic Resource Center. Um, if your child could be a fit for Faith Lutheran, you'll be invited to schedule an interview. That will be a checklist piece. So again, you don't have to email us and say like, I would like to interview. We will email you. Um, we really, we will hound you for things. You don't, you know, you don't have to email us. Um, 
and it'll be about 20 to 30 minutes with a member of our admissions committee. Um, but here's the secret. The admissions committee is most of the faculty because we really think it's really valuable that our faculty have a say in the students that come to our school because they know um, how to spot great kids within like minutes. And so we'll set you up on a Zoom with a member of our faculty or a member of our staff. And you and your child will jump on, jump on the Zoom with us at your slotted time. Um, and we'll start with both of you. We'll say, hey, thanks for coming. Um, mom or dad, we'd love to talk to your kid first. And then we'll talk to you at the end. And then here's what we would really, really appreciate. If you could like give your kids some space. So like if you're here, and like your kids like right here and then you just move this far away but you're off camera we know that you're feeding them answers still and they get really awkward so we would just really encourage you to like give your kids some space to like express themselves tell us who they are the questions are easy strengths weaknesses favorite subjects what kind of student are you what would teachers say about you what do you value um, out of your education so easy stuff, typical interview questions. It's really just a way for us to get to know your student. Um, and so, and they can do it, just have confidence. You know, they're, they're great kids, you know that. Then we'll bring you on and we'll say, tell us some great stuff about your kid. And so have an answer ready because it's awkward when you're like, oh, I don't know, you know. So um, we really want to just get to know you and your family, okay? Oh, one more thing about the interview. So our interview times are going to be when our faculty is available. So we'll have some evening slots, but most of them will be like during the day. So if you have like a 3 p.m. interview and you have to do it from the car in the parking lot after you picked your kid up from school, that is okay. You don't have to be like in a professional type setting for the Zoom interview. Um, we want the answers to be, you know, put together, but if you have to do it on the go, we prefer you park your car first, but um, we've, we've had all kinds of settings because we know that the timing is hard and we've got to squeeze them in. So um, wherever you, you know, wherever you can find a quiet space to focus, um, that's okay. And if you and another parent want to join from two different places, um, we've had that as well. Uh, yes, Jen, go ahead. What did I miss? So is there an option for in-person interviews for, you know, the general candidates or is it Zoom only? It's going to be Zoom only, just the logistics of trying to get people in and out of the building. Um, we switched to that over COVID because, you know, nobody could be in the building. Um, but it's been a really more efficient process for you, for us. Nobody's waiting around. So, yeah, thank you for that question. Anything else? All right. So your decision will be released February or early March. You'll know if you're in or out or on the wait, in the waiting pool. Um, and then they'll be rolling admissions decisions um, through the beginning of the 24-25 school year, depending on availability. Some of our grade levels fill up really fast and some of them, they fill up a little bit more slowly. So um, the faster you get your stuff in, the faster we can give you a decision. Um, and we hope to have all of those in by mid-March. Go ahead. Is there gonna be any early decisions released this year? So I can't answer that at this point. Um, our team's gonna talk about that um, coming up soon. We wanted to kind of get through webinar season and um, school visit season, and then um, we can get back to you on that. Thanks. All right, after acceptance. So you get that email and the confetti popper and it's great. Um, if you are accepted, you'll get an email that's very clear. You're accepted, yay. And we will um, send you a contract. You're not officially enrolled until you complete your contract. And um, once you complete that, it's a thousand dollar enrollment fee. Um, and then you'll submit your immunization records for review. And then we'll have placing placement testing in April and May. So our placement testing um, for all grade levels, we do placement testing for math. And then in high school, we have an optional English placement test if you want to come in as an honor student or an AP student. Our placement testing happens after enrollment. And that's really important um, that you hear that because um, it doesn't, it doesn't um, bar you from admittance. It's just so that we can put your kid in the right spot 
in the right class that fits um, their ability level. Okay, waiting pool. So I said the dreaded words earlier. So there's a strong possibility that we'll have a waiting pool for the 24-25 school year. Um, for the 23-24 school year, we had 1,112 applications for only 503 spots. So that means we um, had to break some hearts, which is really hard. Um, if the best way to avoid um, the waiting pool is to complete your checklist by December, if at all possible. Um, again, I know some of you, maybe you're like, well, I don't know if we're going to move, so I don't want to fill it out until, you know, um, until, you know, we're sure we're going to be here. It's kind of a, a risk. Um, and those are, those are the toughest ones to say, ah, I'm so sorry, we don't have a spot. So um, please get all your stuff in by December. So that way, you know, we can get you rolling. Enrollment and tuition. All right. This is the slide we all take a deep breath on. Yeah, my own children are in private school too, so I know the sacrifice that you are making. Um, and I want you to know as you're as you're drinking in these numbers, it is it is well worth the cost. Um, your child is the most important thing to you. I know they are because that's how I feel about my kids. And um, we're trying to set them up with a good future. There are a lot of different ways to do that. Um, I personally feel like Faith Lutheran is going to launch them into the world prepared for anything and everything. And that's that's all we want for our kids. Um, so the enrollment activity fee is $1,000. If you already have a sibling in or you're bringing two in, then there's a sibling discount. Um, and that's due when you sign your contract. That will, that will turn your file from blue to green enrolled. Um, the tuition for the year is $15,500. There's no sibling discount for that. It's just, um, it's straight up. <sighs> I know. I know, but it's great. It's a great education. Um, there are payment options available. You can pay in one chunk, two chunks, or over the course of 10 months. And then there are there is financial aid available, which I'll talk about on the next slide. Additional costs would be uniform and books, um, which varies by grade level and the books that they need to buy, and then how much, however much you um, invest in uniforms. And that's going to be about $500 on top of the other fees. Go ahead. Is the tuition different for hybrid or fully online? That's a great question. Yes, we do have a different um, tuition structure for our fully online and hybrid tuition. So our, I had my cheat sheet, it disappeared. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't wanna tell you wrong. I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me, but the hybrid option is gonna be um, about $2,000 less. And then the fully online is gonna be about $4,000 less. Yeah, go ahead. Did you have another one? Oh, I was just gonna say, we're gonna have that flow webinar. We'll have those numbers solid then if you wanna come back for that in November. Yes, perfect. It's also posted in our financial uh, policies on our website. If you find the financial tab, then you'll be able to see uh, the breakdown of the different tuition uh, structures. All right, financial aid. For interested families, we offer need-based tuition assistance through FACS. The application for that opens on January 1st, so you'll be able to get your application in for that, and then um, you might have an answer on that before um, you have to make a decision and make a payment in February and March. We also accept funds from different scholarship programs, such as the Nevada Choice Opportunity Scholarship. I know other, um, some parents have brought other scholarships uh, to us before, and our, our financial aid has, um, office has accepted those. I don't know the name of those, but they are out there if that's something that you're interested in. Yeah, go ahead, Jen. Just kidding. She just had her hand raised. All right. Okay, important dates. Here we go. Upcoming events. These are all on our website. If you want to come to something, you go to our website, you click register. Um, I really highly encourage one of our three Explore Faith open house experiences. They're all going to be similar, so you don't have to register for all three. Just, just hit up one and you'll be good. They run 9 to um, nine to 11 in the morning, and it's come and go as you have time. So you got 30 minutes before the soccer game on Saturday morning, pop by, roam the campus, leave. Um, if you want to stay the full two hours and really get the full experience, we'd love to have you the whole time. So 
what's going to happen on that day is we had teachers all sign up and administrators and counselors, and um, they're all signed up for one of those. And so you'll be able to meet different people. We'll give you a map so you can see with stars on it. Um, so you can see where different teachers are stationed. So if you're uh, an incoming sixth grade family, okay, I want to go to the sixth grade hallway and talk to a sixth grade teacher about what it's like. You'll know where they are on the map. Uh, kind of like, like Hollywood Walk of Fame, you're like, where do the stars live? Um, they'll also have like our big deal things on the map, like our greenhouse and our um, flight classroom with all the flight simulators, which is amazing. You have to come check it out. Um, you'll also see our new butterfly garden because we are a monarch butterfly way station. Who knew? Um, you'll also be able to see our huge ox gym. If you come to the one in January, you can see um, our auction will be full of a robotics competition happening. Um, we have a really big robotics team um, program here with multiple teams and we're hosting an event that day, um, which is such a cool collaborative opportunity for us to show that off as well. Um, we have a courtroom you can come see. We have um, a really great entertainment space. If you've ever been to one of our shows, you can explore the Performing Arts Center. So we have lots of different things to see. Um, our campus, like I said, is 50 acres, um, and you'll you'll just have a grand time, I think. Um, we also, if you want a more personalized option, you can sign up for a tour. Um, Ashland runs most of our tours, and they are by grade level. So if you sign up, just make sure that you sign up for the one that's middle school specific or high school specific, because she tailors her uh, speech to that grade level. Um, if you have one of each, she'll she'll um, accommodate that as well. So you don't have to come to two. Just pick one. Um, Fiji Crusader Day. So if you are a family with a current fifth grader, we would love to invite your student on campus from 11 to 2 for future Crusader Day. We're going to have a great time. We have an army of students called our visa students who are our, our students. That's a testing day for us, so they don't have class. Um, and they're going to help us run our fifth graders through just like a day of fun. Um, you get to experience what it's like to be a sixth grader here, which honestly, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but it's probably the best grade level to come in because they do like, they do a red carpet rollout on the first day. They get to join a house for the first day. I mean, it's like, it's just really, really fun. So come check it out. Um, high school events, we have future freshman day. Equally as exciting, but high schoolers are a little bit less, you know, enthusiastic sometimes. So it'll be a toned down, but very exciting day. Um, we're going to give them all sunglasses because their future here is bright. In person, this is much more fun because they laugh, but it's, I'm just going to assume that they're laughing. We also have a high school athletics preview night. We're going to invite all of our high school coaches um, and all of our high school families interested in any sport. And then you get to like disperse in the gym and go talk to the coach that um, coaches the sport that your kid wants to play. And that will be really helpful to get to know them, um, get a face to a name. We also have an academics exploration webinar coming up on the 14th where we'll talk more about the academies. So one um, really unique aspect of our high school is your student can join one of our academies and it's almost like a major in college where their electives and a lot of their core classes would feed into one specific interest such as justice and advocacy or flight or STEM or um, greenhouse or the conservatory of the fine arts. Um, and so we have, or the Christ Academy, if they're interested in um, a life of service to God. Um, so we have a lot of different academy options for students to do, and that's on the 14th. And then we have a webinar about our fully online um, or hybrid options. If you want to learn more about taking online classes, that'll be on November 28th. Okay, here's your to-do list. My to-do list people, you can take a picture of this. Um, complete your application. Starting Monday, uh, get your application finished. When you receive your checklist, submit your documents um, and then your recommendations um, by December. Interviews, we will um, complete those in January and February. So what you'll need to do is give a, you'll have a list of times and then you'll select your time. And then um, if you want to apply for financial aid, I'll do that in January as well. And then check for a decision um, in February and March. You'll get an email with your decision. And then you'll need to accept your decision and then pay your enrollment fee if you are accepted to Faith Lutheran. If you are enrolled, then you will register for placement testing in April and May. <laughs> 